All right, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a car in uh, sketchy physics. Now, not just a car, but how to make a car move. So let's just throw a floor down, pressing that button. And what you want to do is, um, let's keep this simple. Let's just draw a box like this first. All right, this will be our little car. And we're going to raise it up off the ground. And go ahead and raise it up the amount you know. So I'm just going to type in 12 inches. All right. And uh, then I'm going to go in an in, or a foot on this thing, one foot, and start drawing my uh, circle there. And I'm going to go all the way to the ground. Okay. Um, then what I want to do is I want to pull this out, and I'll pull it out for for I don't know, it doesn't really matter, six inches. And I want to bring this same circle. Um, size to the rest of them. Actually, it seems a little small, doesn't it, um, for this body? That's all right. We can always adjust it later. But uh, yeah, and then so you basically just do it for all four um, there, and you just want to make sure they're the same size. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to move correctly. And once you have them like this. If you know the distance across, you should be able to just move them. So really what I probably should do is type in like two and a half feet here. And then shorten shorten this to meet that spot because why not, right? Okay. So that way I can move these and I can just say, okay, these need to be over um, onto this edge right here. Actually, I don't want it on the edge. I want it on the red axis, and I should be able to type in two point. Actually, it should be three feet, right? Um, that way, it'll match up just the way. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to take these now, and what I want to do is I actually need a line that comes straight out from the middle. So I'm just going to put a line in there, um, coming straight out. I'll use that later. It's really not important at this time. Um, it's just nice to do it before it's a component so you don't have to go back in there and, and do it for the rest of them. Like these, I don't think it's going to give me the center point. Oh, but you know what? It's kind of referencing the other side. So that's nice. It should be in the center then. Uh, otherwise, you can draw a line across it. You know, you could draw a line across it and then just find the midpoint and have it stick out too. That works as well. Okay? But uh, I need a line on all four of them. And now I'm going to make them components. It's kind of strange I'm making them components now but it actually works out better. So I'm going to do make component, create, and the reason you need to do that in sketchy physics is unless it's a component, it's not going to uh, act like one. It's not going to act like a solid object, and that's what we need it to do. All right. There. Okay, great. Um, you don't need these lines, or I'm sorry, I still need the lines. My fault. Okay, and um, if this is just going to be a simple car, we can just use a motor. And I'm going to click right there and have it come out. Okay. And I'm going to do it on all four of these. And they only need to be separate. We can't copy these, otherwise, it won't behave the same way. All right. There we go. That works pretty good. Okay. And then we need to join these. So click on the joint, or click on the joint. And if you look at these now, these are actually saying they're going to rotate in this direction counterclockwise. Um, that's important in a second here. But I'm going to click on the joint. Make sure this is already selected. Hold down Control and add the add the wheel there. So if I hit play now, um, none of these other ones none of these other ones are going to work. But this one, this motor right here, you can control using this, right? Okay. Um, right now, the motor's really not doing much. Here's what we want to do is we want to go into it. So have the joint selected. Click the UI button. And instead of max acceleration, let's change that to 10. And let's change this to 0 0.5 dash. And then in parentheses, you're going to say uh, uh, righty quotation. Now, acceleration, actually, we want to go the opposite direction, so we're going to say negative 10 there. Oops. 
on this side and on the other side we're going to say positive 10. We want to do the opposite since they're on opposite sides of the car. All right, and I'll do the same thing to this one. So u, ui, I can say negative 10. My negative doesn't work real well. Negative 10. And then on this side, again, we're going to say 0 0.5 dash parenthesis righty parenthesis. There we go. And we got to join this one. So click the little joiner button, click this, hold down control, click that. And we're all set. Um, you can see if you have the joiner button, you click the other one, it shows what that one's still doing, which is useful as well. All right. So uh, same thing with this side. I know this is really boring, but <laughs> you got to do it. So, joiner button, click this, hold down control, click the wheel, good. Joiner button, click this, and the wheel, all set there. And then we just got to set the speeds for these as well. So you click on them once, and this we do want to be positive 10, because the, the wheel is pointing in the right direction, or the we want it to go counterclockwise in this case. And again, I'm going to change this to 0 0.5. Um, dash righty with a Y at the end. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to control it with our keyboard. 0 0.5 dash parenthesis righty. And there we go with that too in max Excel 10. Should be good there. So now I'm going to uh, press play. And uh, okay, it's falling over. Let me see. Okay, so if this works right, I should be able to press play, and it's not joined to the block yet, but if I, if I press the up button, um, these are actually spinning. It doesn't look like it, though, does it? So uh, let's attach to this block now. So what you need to do is hold down control, and you're going to, you can even do shift, it doesn't really matter, but you need to click, click on the joints, not the wheels, just the joints and the car itself, the block. All right, so holding down shift still. And there we go. So let's try this out. Here's the moment of truth. I'm really hopeful. And it falls over. Great. Well, it didn't work very well at all, did it? <laughs> all right, so let's see what he did. Um, oh, you know what I did? I forgot is after I click on all these, did I do group? It should be group, not component. Make group. Let's try that now. There we go. Oh, there it goes. It's bouncing around. Woo! So why is it doing that? Well, that's fun and all, but it's because it thinks it's actually uh, squares. It thinks these round things are squares, and they're not. So right-click on those, go to, to uh, Shape, and change that to Sphere, um, and then they will move much better. It'll think it's a ball instead of a uh, square. Otherwise, it'll just bounce all over the place, even though that's fun. It's not what we want. All right, sphere, sphere. Okay, let's try that. So I hit play. See if I push backwards, it'll go that way. Forward goes that way. Yay! So that's that. And in the next video, I, I can show you actually how to make it steer with the uh, arrow keys as well. But this works pretty well if you want to get it to, uh, you know, run through, run on a ramp or whatever it may be. All right. Thanks for watching.